Hey guys, it's day 36 of the instructional challenge and today I'm going to teach Oh Susanna from Mike and I'm going to teach some double stops at the end of the instructional so stay tuned. Here we go. So um, this is a great tune if you're just beginning to play um, because there's a lot of ma repeated material and it's in D. So this is the key that normally young students or beginner players will learn out of first because it just fits really easily on a fiddle. So let's go from the very beginning and I'm gonna teach without double stops first. Open one, two, A, A. Let's do that again. And that's an F sharp high too. B A F D, and that it's one open two open. So from the beginning. All right, let's try that again. All right, so I'm gonna do two Ds in there, just, just checking, huh? And then D, E, F, F. All right, that's the next spot. One, open, one. Let's do that whole lick. Open, one, two, two, one, open, one. All right, from the very beginning. in there. Let's do that again. F, A, A, B, A, F sharp, then open D, and then a D again. F, F, 1, open, 1. All right, one more time. Now the next lick is the exact same to start, but I'm gonna add a roll at the end, um, uh, and then that changes it up, um, and so it's it's good, it's good, you'll like it. A, A, B, A, F, D. Now I'm gonna do a little roll at the end of this. This next part's the exact same except for the roll. I'll show you when the roll happens. F, two F sharps. And then it's one open one, that's the roll. And I usually slur one open on a down bow, and then, or, or if you're doing an up bow, whatever, whatever bow, you slur those two, and then up, and then down. So the first two would be slurred, the rest would be separate. One open one, open. And that allows you to end on a down bow. Let's do that roll again. Open one, two, two, one, open one, open. All right, and so let's go from the very beginning and go through the entire A section. And remember that the A section repeats, so it's these licks with the repeat. I'll do the repeat this time as we go through. Now we're going to the B section. 
Um, go back and review the A section as many times as you need to, but now I'm gonna go on to the B section, all right? And it starts on a G. All right, so G, G, B, B. That's a short B and a long B. G, G, B, B, A, A, F, D, E. So it's A, A, two, open, first finger. Let's go from the G. Long, or short long, and then A, A, All right, now the next lick is one that we already learned from the A section. It's the last lick in the A section. Here how it's the one with the roll. Let's go over that lick again. D, E, F, A, A, B, A, F, D, D, E, F, F, one, open, one, open. And then there's a repeat of the B section. Uh, the only new material is that G chord. So it goes G, G, B, B, A, A, F, D, E. So now I'm going to go through the entire tune with the repeats and then I've got a special treat for you. I'm going to teach you a few double stops that will go along with it very nicely. All right, here we go from the beginning with repeats. Repeat that. of the A section. Second time with the roll. Now to the B section, and that's a G to start. G, G, short, long. that ending lick from the A section. Roll. And then G. G, short, long. F, D, E. All right, and so now, What's going to happen is you've got, um, you've got all of that material that we just did, and I'm going to teach you some double stops now. So here we go. Um, and starting from the beginning, you can do what's called potatoes. So it goes D, D, and it's D and A, and it's a shuffle bow. Long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short. So that's down. So I'm going to start it with potatoes, and then I'm going to go and be playing the bow on both the D and the A string at the same time. All right, and then so once, once we do four beats of that shuffle bow, we're going to go into it. And I gotta make sure when I'm doing those double stops that I'm hitting um, just the D string with my fingers and I'm not hitting the A, because if you hit the A, you're gonna get this kind of sound. No good, right? Just hit the D string. And you might wanna practice it really slow and try to get a good tone with your bow. The weight to speed ratio of your bow is going to determine um, what kind of tone you get. So just sit and practice that for a while. And I'm staying on 
on the A and D string at the same time. Now I'm gonna finger the B on the A string, but I'm gonna keep playing that D and A. And I'm, I'm uh, partial to doing those slides, uh, especially at the end there. All right, so yeah, that'll give you a nice sound. Now, let me teach you one more cool double stop, and this is fourth finger on your D string and open A, and it'll give you a really old-timey sound, and it's great for playing old-time music or tunes like Oh Susanna, which could be considered really in both genres. What I did was I slid my fourth finger up to where it matches the pitch of that open A string, but I'm only touching the D string. You have to have really good form to make this happen well, and you have to move your bow with just the right amount of weight and speed. And it gives a very kind of, um, uh, very kind of scratchy tone. Not really scratchy, but it's, it's brash a little bit, but we like that in old time and, and bluegrass fiddling. We like that kind of uh, raunchy sound, you know, kind of. And if you get really good, you can start keeping the fourth finger down and moving other fingers, but that's for another lesson here. Um, so uh, I'm gonna go from the beginning and just staying on those two strings. So you can kind of do that through the whole A section. Now, when you get to the B section, there is a couple of cool double stops that I'm gonna show you. All right, so I'm gonna start with um, an octave double stop, which is open G and third finger on your D string. Only touch the D string, don't touch the G when you play it. All right, so. Now I'm gonna keep that third finger down, and if I can, not touch the A string, and then B, B, and that's a G, third finger on your D without touching the A, and then a B, first finger on your A without touching the D. So both of those fingers have to be on their independent string without touching one another. Or you can do, and then just one on your A and open D. Um, and either one will actually work. The easier of the two is to just have one finger and an open string, right? And then, um, so here's the other one. I kept my third finger down this time. And that would be a G and a B. Um, and then I'm just gonna stay on, after that, on the, on the A and the D strings. All right, so, um, there you go. There's some, some great tips for some beginning double stops that you can do along with Oh Susanna. All right. Hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great day.